Hey guys, if you have seen my demonstration video on zonal pressure testing, which is called Beyond Blower Doors, then you may have found yourself wondering or scratching your head about the math that I use in it. You may alternatively have found yourself in a situation where, number one, you know for a fact that you've been doing this longer than I have, which there are plenty of people who that's true for. And number two, you may have uh, written a research paper or done very in-depth research on zonal pressure testing, and you may have said, mm, I don't know if Corbett knows what he's talking about. I actually do know what I'm talking about, and I will clarify for you why I use percentages when I talk about zonal pressure diagnostics. So in the first place, you want to make what we are talking about very simple and clear to understand, because we have been doing testing of buildings for 40 years at this point, right? Since the 70s, the first energy uh, crisis. If we keep on talking about energy only, this will never get into the mainstream. We know that because it's already happened. We've been talking about this for four decades and it is not mainstream. So my goal is to make sure that all of construction involves performance testing of whatever it is that they're installing. It does not have to be energy efficient. Uh, you may have caught on to that message in some of my other videos. Secondly, uh, in order to be mainstream, we need everybody to understand this, right? The client needs to ask for it. Now, I have had conversations with technical purists who say, you know what, this percentage thing that you use where, and I'll give you an example, the bedroom that I measured in the video is five pascals, and I'm at 50 pascals in the house. That, therefore, I call that five fiftieths or 10% connection to outside. This person said, there's no way that this percentage thing works. Mathematically, it just is not technically pure. Uh, you need to take it out, and you need to take that video down. My response back was, okay, great. That's I, I understand what you're saying. How would you like to express this to clients? And this person's response was, I don't think we should be talking about zonal pressure testing with clients. And that, my friends, is the difference between the old guard and the new guard. If we are truly going to make this work, the homeowners and the building owners must ask for it. And if they don't know what's going on, nothing happens. It's the same old program world that we've always had. So we need to be able to talk about this with people. Now, to that point, I keep reminding myself that I am an idiot, right? I do that every day and I, I love it. It's part of my life. We need to remember that we are idiots and we need to be nice about that because you are not as smart as you think you are. And I'm going to get back to that in a second. Um, and I am not as smart as I think I am. Therefore, I need to rely on my second thing that I have ability-wise, which is my charm. There are plenty of people at the very top of what we do in the construction industry, and specifically in the performance-measured construction industry, uh, who are very technically awesome, but are not nice people. I do not like those people, and I will say that straight to their face. I don't think it's okay for somebody to be technically awesome and also be an a-hole. So, in my opinion, we need to change the entire culture of what's going on at the top and make ninjas also very nice, charming, kind people who will absolutely explain something to somebody who doesn't know anything about it. And I remember what it was like to be a piano player not knowing what a plenum or a joist or a truss was. That's how I started out, and I hang on to that for dear life because that is a big part of my business success. Now, when you measure something, anything, in home performance, the whole point is to give a before and after measurement. There is no point in measuring something if there is not going to be an after. And I'll give you a specific example as far as how smart I think I am. I think that I'm much smarter probably than I actually am. And an IQ test would be able to tell me exactly how smart I am. Would I like to take an IQ test? No, I would not. You know why? Because I can't change it. There's nothing I can do to change the fact of how I am genetically wired. And I, in turn, do not go out into the world and test things in people's houses that they are not going to be able to change either. Motivational metrics is what you want. That is the secret recipe. So when you give someone a motivational metric, like for example, my way of explaining zonal pressure testing as a percentage, your master bedroom suite is 10% connected to outside, and your vented crawl space is 5% connected to outside. Mathematically, is that a pure statement? No, it's not, because you have to measure the square inches of leakage between the house and the zone, and then the zone and outside. Uh, you have to have one or the other of those and be able to do a comparison. And really, I'm not that interested in any of that stuff. What I am interested in is motivating my client to making that number better.
And if I was to air seal the crawl space away from outside, I could absolutely make that 5% number a 0% number. Or I could make the 10% number for the bedroom a 5% number or a 2% number or whatever. And this is where we start competing. So if you can promise a 2% zonal pressure final, uh, that is because you know what you're doing. And it, you should not be promising that much of a reduction unless you really do know what you're doing and you know for a fact that you can deliver it. Once you have people competing on actual performance, then the whole conversation goes the way that we want it to. Uh, the first thing that needs to happen is the client asks, you say you're going to air seal my house, but what exactly is the zonal pressure uh, percentages? I heard this thing on YouTube. What's that, that percentage that you're going to promise me? Once they are asking for that, people will sweat and they will start actually delivering things because I know plenty of companies that air seal addicts and I come along and do a zonal pressure test and I can show for a fact that there is a connection between the attic and the house and I can use my eyeballs and do the size comparison of holes using that ratio. Um, but all that stuff is moot if we can just start promising guaranteed metrics. Um, now, Lastly, I want to make sure that you understand that if you want to get more into the conversation, number one, I really hope that you keep on reaching out to me with technical challenges. If you think that I'm doing something wrong in one of my videos, please do say so. Uh, comment in the, the comments below. If you agree with what I'm saying, I love hearing that. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, I will still thumbs up your comment because I think that we need to be having this conversation. That's the most important thing. Secondly, if you want to be a ninja who is also hooked up with very nice ninjas around the country and around the world, the fall fast track is the way that you can do that. So I hope that you'll check out that video and I'm going to link it on the, the page right here. That is my six-week mastermind course where people who are working working in their real jobs, start learning things and incorporating it into their actual life. And then we meet about it once a week. We have the office hours and then you get, you're doing all this stuff with people at the same time all around the country and around the world. It's super cool. And I hope that you'll join us for that if you uh, have the time and you have the inclination to become a ninja. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been clear. Tune in next time.